As the countdown to the 2025 Invictus Games in Vancouver kicks off, the excitement is palpable. But so is the controversy surrounding Meghan Markle's expected participation. Party Popper Canada royal expert Neil Sean has indicated that Meghan is likely to play a significant role at the Games. But her involvement has ignited a heated debate that's capturing the attention of the media and the public alike. The Invictus Games are designed to honor the resilience and spirit of wounded veterans through adaptive sports. Traditionally, they've received robust support from the royal family, including endorsements from Prince Charles and Prince William. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has played a crucial role in nurturing Prince Harry's vision and elevating the event to international recognition. However, in recent years, the games have faced several challenges, particularly with the release of a Netflix documentary that focused heavily on Prince Harry and failed to gain traction. Critics have pointed out that this approach overshadowed the athletes' incredible stories, detracting from the core mission of celebrating their courage and determination. With Meghan's anticipated appearance at the Vancouver Games, the stakes have never been higher. While her presence could attract a significant media spotlight, it also risks overshadowing the event's true purpose. Will her fashion choices and personal brand controversies take center stage, diverting attention from the inspiring athletes? This concern has been voiced by many, especially as the Invictus Games are meant to be a platform for the veterans themselves. Adding another layer of intrigue, reports have surfaced indicating that Canadian authorities have issued a stern warning to Prince Harry regarding Meghan's planned attendance. Officials have expressed strong disapproval, suggesting that he either attend the Games alone or reconsider bringing her at all. This warning reflects a broader dissatisfaction with the Sussexes, particularly given Canada's past support during their time in the country from 2019 to 2020. It raises the question, are the Sussexes' actions leading to a rift with their Canadian hosts? Moreover, speculation has arisen regarding Meghan's demands for their trip including requests for a private jet, luxury accommodations, a dedicated security detail, limousine service, and even a media team. Canadian officials have firmly rejected these demands, insisting that Harry and Meghan adhere to the same rules as other guests and dignitaries. This insistence on standard treatment has further strained relations and added to the growing narrative of entitlement surrounding the couple. Public sentiment in Canada appears to be notably negative, with many residents voicing their frustration. Some have gone so far as to say they would reconsider supporting the Invictus Games if Meghan and Harry are involved, emphasizing that the event should focus on the veterans, not become a Meghan Markle show. Comments from Vancouver residents reflect a broader sentiment of disapproval, with one stating that they would refuse to attend if the couple were present, and others expressing disbelief that support would be given to them at all. As we approach the Invictus Games in 2025, the drama surrounding Meghan Markle's participation not only highlights ongoing tensions between the Sussexes and their Canadian hosts, but also raises questions about how Harry and Meghan will navigate this complex situation. Will their presence be accepted, or will it further polarize public opinion? Join us at FameFinder for all the latest updates, insights, and behind-the-scenes drama as this story unfolds. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. What do you think? Should Megan attend the games? Or is it time for her to step back and allow the focus to remain on the veterans? We want to hear your thoughts and predictions.